Hey, welcome back to the Outdoor Workshop. Today we're in the DeSoto National Forest, Mississippi. We're gonna be taking a look at three popular water filters. First, we have the Catadyne Bee Free, we have the Sawyer Squeeze, and we have the Sawyer Mini. We're gonna use some water testing kits to see how they compare and how they might work out for you on the trail. Let's take a look. In order to properly test these filters, we're gonna be running them through four different tests. We have a 16 parameter test strip, we have a total dissolved solids tester, we have a microscope, and then we have a bacteria test kit that'll take 24 hours to run. First, let's take a look at some of the functions and features of these filters before we get into the test. To start all three of these filters on the same baseline, they're all brand new. Each one of them filters down to 0.1 micron, which is equivalent to 1 10 thousandth of a millimeter. All three of these use the same tiny fiber membranes to filter water down to 0.1 microns. When exposed, you can see it's like a lot of tiny fiber straws. They only allow things that are 0.1 micron or less to pass through. Observing it under the microscope allows you to see it a little bit better. Most bacteria are 1 to 10 microns, so 10 to 100 times larger than the filter size on these. The smallest bacteria on Earth only go down to about 0.3 microns, so these still have you covered. First, let's take a look at the Catadyne Bee Free. This filter is 4.5 inches tall and weighs in just at over 2 ounces. It generally retails for around $42 and comes with a unique filling bag that has a wide mouth making it easy to fill. The lifespan on this filter is only around 264 gallons, but the stated flow rate is at 2 liters per minute which is faster than any other filter here. Outside of the lifespan, one of the critical reviews I've seen about this filter is the bottle. I've never had a problem with it, but there are people out there who say it's cracked or leaked just after a few uses. It feels pretty durable to me, and I've thrown it around in multiple packs over multiple trips. One really great thing about the Catadyne Bee Free is the ability to clean it on the go. Once you take it out of the container, the filter is exposed, so you just need to rinse it through some clean water, and your flow rate is pretty much back to normal. Unfortunately, you can't push water through to backflow to get a deep clean, but you'll see here at the end of the review that the flushing really does take out a lot of the debris. Next up is the Sawyer Squeeze. This filter is 6 inches tall and just a little bit heavier than the Bee Free, weighing at just under 3 ounces. The retail price is $30. With that, you're going to get a cleaning plunger, inline pack adapters, gravity tubes, two 32 ounce pouches, and a mesh bag with a hanging loop. The lifespan on this filter is 100,000 gallons, and the stated flow rate is 1.7 liters per minute. The lifespan, durability, and costs are all reasons that some people may choose this over the Bee Free, even with the slower flow rate. Having this sit in line with a water bladder or sit on top of a bottle gets a little bit bulky, so that could be one deciding factor that pushes you towards the Bee Free. One of the great things about this filter is the versatility. You can choose to run it with the gravity flow at base camp, right in line with your hydration bladder, or use it as a drinking straw with the provided adapter and a hose. This can be attached to any standard plastic water bottle thread, which makes it convenient and easy to interchange between different types of water bottles. This is another differentiating factor between the Sawyer Squeeze and the Bee Free. The Bee Free has less options for interchangeability, but it makes it easier to fill with the wider mouth. Last up is the Sawyer Mini. It comes in at 5.5 inches and weighs only 2 ounces. This is by far the most compact of the three options and only costs $25. Both the Bee Free and the Squeeze are wider than the Mini, which is why you might not turn to this option if you're throwing in a bag for traveling abroad. The size advantage comes with the sacrifice and flow rate, which is just under 0.6 liters per minute, about three times slower than both of the other two options. Just like the Squeeze, the Sawyer Mini has a lifespan of up to 100,000 gallons and can be restored to 98.5% performance after a backflow cleaning like you'll see at the end of this review. This can also be used with the threads of a standard water bottle, sit in line with a hydration bladder, be used as a straw, or a very slow gravity filter. Overall for the price, this is a great backup whether you're on the road, traveling abroad, or need something extra in your pack in case one fails. The size is perfect for throwing in a glove box, a purse, or even a travel bag. Before we move on to heavier testing, I want to show you here that the bag is pretty unique on the Bee Free, and comparing it side by side with the Squeeze, you can see the difference in thread sizing. To really put the filters through a test, I found a dammed up area that was high in sediment. So I'm going to run a couple liters through each of the filters to see if I can get them jammed up. In order to do this with the Sawyer Squeeze, we're going to take the inline adapter and screw it right into the inlet. Once it's in there, we'll use our hydration bladder hose Plug it right in there. And that allows us to use it right in line with the hydration adapter. You 
you can see here the flow on the Sawyer Mini is a lot slower than the Katadyne B Free and the Sawyer Squeeze. Next up, we have the Katadyne B Free. It's an easy scoop. The first test we're gonna run here is the water test with 16 parameters. You can see here, it's gonna be testing for pH, hardness, hydrogen sulfide, iron, copper, lead, manganese, total chlorine, mercury, nitrate, nitrate, sulfate, zinc, fluoride, sodium chloride, and total alkaline levels. And it's gonna be differentiated based on the levels, depending on what color the test strip turns. Here you can see the final results. The filters did not noticeably change or alter the properties and characteristics of the water. The next test is gonna to be to test the total dissolved solids. We're immediately gonna go into the bacteria testing kit as we fill these up and test the TDS. Within 24 hours, it'll tell us whether the water has bacteria or not. Now for the control, this is the second stagnant lake we went to and there's plenty of sediment in here. Here's a comparison of the basic stats of each filter with the total dissolved solid results. You can see the baseline of 20 parts per million and 202 parts per million. It was surprising to me that it didn't take more total dissolved solids out. Many of these solids don't come out because they're much smaller than the filter level, and it's things like iron and other minerals that are okay to drink. After looking about 24 hours later, you can see the original water source tested pink, which means it had some signs of bacteria. The samples from the filters, on the other hand, all showed that there were no bacteria detected. Here's a quick look at what it looked like under the microscope for the dirty water. You can see there's a lot of large particles floating around. And moving over to the filtered water, you can see these products did a great job at removing the solids. There's no discernible difference between the end results of each of the filters, so this is just an example of one of them. After running the filters through the 10 liters at the lake, I quickly realized that wasn't going to be enough. It did start to slow them down, but I needed to find dirtier water, so this is what I found. I ran this water through each of the three filters until they all seized up. The Sawyer Mini seized up very quickly. The Sawyer Squeeze was second. It held up for a little while, but then it got jammed up. And finally, the Catadine actually lasted the longest. Let's take a look at how we would clean these up. For the Sawyer Squeeze and the Sawyer Mini, we would just go fill up a cup with some clean water. Take the cleaning plunger. Fill that up. You can see here, clear water. Now we're gonna attach this to the opposite side of the flow and push the dirty water out. The Sawyer squeeze comes with an attachment that we can do backwash on. So we're gonna screw that onto the top here. Insert it into there. Now to get an idea of how dirty the water is, push this out.
Cation, they say to just rinse. In the end, how do they compare? The Sawyer Mini is great if you're traveling. You can use it as a straw, in line with a water bladder, or you can drink directly out of it. Not ideal for life on the trail. The two that are holding up against each other are the Sawyer Squeeze and the Catadyne Be Free. Both of these are great options for the trail. I switched over to the Sawyer Squeeze about six months ago, thinking that it was better than the Catadyne Be Free, but after using them side by side together, I'm reconsidering my options, and I think I'm going back to the Catadyne Be Free the flow on this is awesome. The Sawyer Squeeze still has its place though. So if you're at base camp and want a gravity filter, this is perfect for hanging from a tree. Come back a little later and you got yourself two liters ready to go. Either way, I'm going to be sticking to this for my daily hikes. Perfect backup to keep in the car. Thanks for watching.